Are y'all ready for this video? Are y'all ready for this full, big bag of things that I am going to share? We are talking Amazon Summer Essentials, things that I have bought for the beach, specifically for travel, that I am taking with me. I cannot live without these things, okay? We're gonna have our butts in the sand and these things are gonna be with us on our trip this summer. So everything I'm talking about is gonna be numbered up on screen and it will be linked in the comment section and description bar below. It will be super easy to shop and we will go ahead and just jump right in. This right here is nothing, like I'm not reinventing the wheel. However, I did find something that's better. So if y'all have seen that viral packing hack where some people are so against it, some people are very for it, but it works a lot. I've heard for kids where you basically pack, oh, you basically pack in these, like they're basically over the door shoe organizers, right? You put their outfits for the day. Um, oh, we're going this way. You put their outfits for the day down in here and you're able to just roll this right up and it makes packing easy. Um, you also can plan full outfits. That's where people kind of get weird is because they're like, my kid's whole outfit won't fit in there, but little pieces. Well, this is amazing, but these are actually bigger. I got in one of these and when it came in, I was like, is this for kids shoes? Like this is a, a shoe organizer and it's for your doors. But I was like, does this hold kids shoes? Like what's going on? So when I found this one that is much, I mean, I didn't find it. It was suggested to me on Amazon. So Amazon found it for me. But whenever I saw this, I was like, this is, this feels like it's for adult shoes. This feels like it's actually going to fit things for travel. So my goal is I got two of these that are actually large. And if you want to use these for your adult size shoes, they absolutely will fit them. But my goal is to basically, okay. So day one, here is Ezra's swimming trunks, diapers, um, you know, his rash guard. Here's his pajamas for the night. Here's his diaper for the night. Here's this, here's that. Of course I will take extra diapers, but you understand that you can really kind of outfit plan with these. So yeah, viral packing hack that I did not invent. Uh, but some of the organizers I've seen, I'm like, how do you get things in there? They're so tiny. So that one is actually big and normal size. Product number two, these are probably marketed for kids, but I've been using them a lot. I really like these. So they are the like Gobi snack organizers. And one of the reasons I like these for kids is because there is one opening. You can only access one snack at a time. We're not opening it up and spilling everything out. And if you want to get to another snack, you just hit this little button right here and then open up the little door. I do find that it is easy to take the lid off of this, but not easy enough that my two year old could figure it out. So yeah, it is marketed for kids, but personally, I feel like this is perfect for me. So these are great for like road tripping, beach snacks, um, just little random things throughout the day. Like at work, I used to pack a ton of snacks. This would have been so convenient for like in the morning, I just pack all my little snacks and throughout the day, I just keep this on my desk and just go. So I bought two of these. Next up is the CeraVe Facial Moisturizing Lotion with sunscreen. So this is what I use for my AM moisturizer, but it is broad spectrum SPF 30. Now I don't play when it comes to sun protection at all, but especially when I'm out at the beach, the lake, it does not matter if I'm outside all day. I very like, I'm so conscious of it and I have sensitive skin. So I can't just put sunscreen on my face. I'm not someone who wears like makeup to the beach, but I can't just lather my skin in regular sunscreen. I can't use face sticks. I've got to use something that is specific for my skin or my skin's going to be like, girl, what just happened? Like we're going to backtrack 10 years. So for sensitive skin girls, girls who are acne prone, oily, um, if you just can't lather your face in like a regular sunscreen or face stick, this is great. It is oil free. It says it moisturizes throughout the day and helps restore the protective skin barrier. It has ceramides, I believe it's pronounced niacinamide and then hyaluronic acid. So very hydrating, but still has that SPF in it. So I stocked up on this for the beach. I find that packing cubes maybe aren't, they're good quality, but like after they get used for a while, they're just, they're dirty, they're a mess. So I did end up getting, I'm not even gonna pull them all out because I friggin' will never get them back in here fully, but 
I bought two sets of packing cubes, one for me and one for Sam. And the reason I bought this specific kind is I felt like one, it's a really good price, but two, they had a ton of these. So if there are other things that I want to pack for our boys in packing cubes, then I have, like I'll have some left over that my husband and I won't use because there are so many in here. If you have never packed with packing cubes, you do not know what you're missing out on. They are incredible at keeping everything. I just feel like I could fit more in a suitcase, um, but I also like that this comes with like a dirty laundry bag. However, oftentimes the top of my suitcase is designated for dirty laundry stuff and it just gets thrown in there. Like everything's gonna get washed anyways, so that's not as big of a deal to me, but there were just so many of these that I knew buying a two pack, I could literally use them for my family of four. But again, they're still a good price point and like they seem relatively decent quality too. I literally saw a set of packing cubes the other day on TikTok that were $185 and I was like, I'm sorry, what? No, not for me. I wanted to mention this because I feel like it's a little deceiving. When you look at this online, it does not look like it is this big. It's huge. I love this bag though. I actually took it to the hospital with me when I gave birth and this had all of my adult diapers in it. And I had used them all because I am not big on the mesh panties, they're not my favorite. So this held all my adult diapers. And then when we were leaving, I actually was like, hey, can I have like a little bit of everything? You know, they like, well, the nurses will come and just load you down with products. This held everything in it. So I do currently have some other little travel cases in here that I purchased um, for the summertime that I'm actually about to talk about very quickly. But this stuff bag, Absolutely incredible, holds a ton of things. You can stuff it full. It holds adult diapers. You're gonna go have your baby and you're all about those, what are they called? The always discreet boutique like underwear. <laughs> That's what I had in here. This is amazing. I take supplements every single day. I take vitamins and I never like traveling with the whole bottle. That's just not my jam. So I got this little pill organizer. It's super cute and it has Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday extra. So I do like that because I find that sometimes these things can feel a little bit small, um, but it also comes in this cute little pink case. So you could of course take this out and use it for something else, but it's just a cute little simple discreet pill organizer. You can throw your vitamins down in here and you're good to go. I have had a few travel jewelry cases in my life. And the one thing that I've never loved about them is how my jewelry is all very close together and does have a tendency to get tangled until these. These are little individual baggies that come with this zipper pouch. And if you actually use all of these, you can still push it back and like throw some bangles down in there, throw some bigger earrings. So you're not just married to only using these bags and that's it. And that's what sold me on this when it came in is I was like, I like it even more because there's still room for bulky, chunky jewelry or your fine dainty pieces that you like to keep. I do still like to travel with jewelry. I know some people aren't for it. I am, I mean, you guys have seen me. I would leave the house looking like a freaking Christmas tree if I could. So. I always take jewelry and this is coming with. These toothbrush organizers, I do of course like. I feel like um, a small toothbrush organizer is fine. However, we're a family of four. So I just wanna make sure we get everything. So what I'm gonna do is mine and my husband's and our toothpaste will be in one. And then our little boys and their toothpaste will be in another because I just don't wanna risk the toothpaste busting open. So that's why I like these is because it also holds your toothpaste. But Roman has teeth, you guys. My little baby boy has teeth. And so we're now gonna be brushing his teeth and I have to take the kid's toothbrush and I have to take the, the infant toothpaste too. So yeah, it just, they all fit really nicely in there. I always take anything like this, even if it's just like a, a an extension cords, charging block, it does not matter because you just don't know the outlet situation. In our old house, we did not have a ton of outlets because the house was so old. So you don't know if the beach house you're staying at, the hotel you're staying at is gonna have a lot of outlets. This has, three regular plugs, and then it has two, I think they're called, is it US, USB-C chargers, and then um, just like a USB port as well. So 
It does have a cord to it, so you've got a little bit of length. You can like hook this up behind your bed, um, and it's it's just gonna act as basically extra outlets, but it's also um, an extension cord. So I have just made the mistake so many times, whether it's even like a wedding venue. Like anytime I've been in weddings, I'm the person that shows up with all this kind of stuff, and people think I'm crazy until they're asking me for it. So I always take things like this. Also, I just have a lot of stuff to charge, let's be honest, like phone, laptop, my job here, I have a lot of stuff. I also did buy this little baby Venus razor. The biggest reason is I hate traveling with razors and I don't know why, it's just always giving me a little bit of mild anxiety and it's very weird and I can't explain it, but look at this little thing. Tea tiny, right? I shave the day I always leave for the beach is when I usually shave because I don't want to deal with it while I'm there, but it never fails. I have to shave and like I shave my underarms daily. So I have this and it's in this tiny little case and then you can just toss it when you leave um, or you can throw out this head and then get another one. Just something about this being tiny and compact is really, really nice. So yeah, I don't know why I get anxiety traveling with razors, but I don't like doing it. I bought this snack bag for the beach because it is humongous. And actually, you guys know I find so many recommendations from my mom. She was the one who was like, Mariah, you need one of these if it's everything. And she says that she takes hers in the car um, because it's still relatively thin. You can stuff a lot of stuff in here. And she says she'll just keep it up at um, the front of the car with her. And as throughout the road trip, people are getting hungry, she can just pass out snacks. And so um, while I'm not sure how this would actually handle being in the sun all day, I'm definitely gonna still try and take this on the beach and I'll let y'all know, but my mom was very much so like, you need one of these. It holds a million snacks, like um, snack bars, protein bars, those kind of things. So that's why I got this. Y'all have heard me talk about this a ton. This is the Sol de Janeiro 62. It's pistachio and salted caramel. It smells like a dream. It smells so good. I have it in the, this is the three ounce. I also have an eight ounce bottle, so I never run out. And I bought the travel size so that I can go to the beach and not have to put my stuff in separate travel bottles. I always avoid that if I can. So this is the one ounce little spray, which is a lot. The tiny Brazilian bum bum cream. This is 1.7 fluid ounces. And then the amazing, this stuff makes your skin so soft. The Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel, three ounces. Um, I find that my skin does get a little bit drier at the beach. So I like these products, the way they smell. Oh, it just smells like you, oh, it's just heaven. It's literally summer in a bottle. So because I like this one so much, I got the travel. Now, before I talk on my soapbox about the like bog bags, simply Southern bags for 15 minutes, um, I do wanna talk about this because it's really cool. So my husband and I have considered getting a like water, um, you know, just like a water dispenser in our pantry. But one of the things is like, we did not have an outlet put in there. And we were like, why did we not do that? So I actually saw that this goes right into a little water jug and can dispense water for you. However, this can be used on a water table. So if you have kids who have a water table, you know that Keeping that water constantly running is very convenient. It's actually gonna make it more fun for them. Otherwise you're stuck constantly doing it. This does not have a plug-in, it does charge, but I've seen people say this is safe to use in the water table because obviously it is meant to go in water. So basically you sit this at the top of the water table, just feed this right into the side, push the button, and it's gonna suck up water through here and then push it out there. This took me 0.2 seconds to like put together and a couple hours to charge. And my boys absolutely love it for their water table. So very random, um, maybe like summer home product, not a travel product, but I did want to mention that if you guys have water tables, that's a very convenient product. Okay, these bad boys right here, I have actually already mentioned, so I'm not gonna get too much into them, but you guys know like the whole bog bag um, situation. There are also other bags that are a little bit more affordable than these. These are called Simply Southern bags. My mom had these exact sizes and was like, these are the ones that you need. These are the sizes that you need. You're gonna love them. I've had them for years and years and they still look brand new. So I got the utility in the Flamingo and then I got the green. Now, I went a little buck wild and also got some accessories because that is one thing I have seen. And if you guys have actually seen that it's a very sad video of that couple getting arrested on the beach um, because they got drunk and passed out and didn't know where their kids were. Um, they were digging 
through their actual bog bag trying to find their IDs. And so when I started to see accessories, I was like, you know, those could be kind of convenient, I'm gonna be honest. Um, so that was my mom's one thing. These do have, I don't know if bog bags come with them. These do come with little clear zip up pouches on the inside, both the utility and this one have it. But I got little accessories. So first and foremost is this right here. This does not hold a Stanley, but it holds Diet Coke. So priorities, you know what I mean? Holds a can of Diet Coke right there. So you automatically taking this to the beach, it's gonna sit up all on its own. So you can see right here, it's gonna sit up in the sand. You also have a place to put your Diet Coke. Right? So I love that. Next product I got was something for my phone. I don't ever like to not have my phone close by. We are staying at a place that has a pool um, and it has beach access like right there. So we are staying on the beach this year. Um, so it's not as big of a deal, but even then I still, I'm just like, oh, I don't wanna be without my phone. So I bought this. And I actually am planning on buying a little like M sticker and I'm gonna put mine here and then I'm probably gonna get another one. I thought about this just yesterday. I'm probably gonna get another one if I can maybe find one that's like black or something and I'll get the S sticker so that it's like, this is my phone, this is Sam's phone. You just never know, like in the case of an emergency, you're gonna need to grab that bad boy. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. You can also put this on the inside so your phone's not sticking out. Um, but personally, that is why I just wanted to add this on here. Next product, something else I'm always with, my keys. So these tiny little clips come with these little white pieces. And you just hook the little clip right to your keys. And then it sticks right in your bag. Again, you could put this on the inside so people aren't seeing that your keys are displayed on the outside of your bag. But I do know that, I don't know if like Daytona, for instance, still allows cars on the beach. I don't really know how that works. I know Hilton Head, where we're going, does not allow cars. Um, at least to my understanding, it does not. But Daytona did when I was a little girl. And so, I mean, you always had your keys with you because there were cars on the beach. So this is really nice to have. And then lastly, I got these. So these are little bag accessories that actually go inside of the bag itself. And these were the number one thing I started seeing people talk about when I really was looking at these Simply Southern bags, bog bags, any of the brands that you buy. I've seen people mention these because they're nice at just keeping things a little bit more organized. And if you don't wanna get the phone organizer, you can just take this and you can like basically scoot off half of your bag to be organized just for your keys, your wallet, your phone, Phone, and you're not digging down in this deep bag that might be full of toys, towels, sunscreen, you kind of know this one side right here is for my personal belongings. Okay, so I would have to take out the um, bag here to show you fully, but some of the like little ways I've seen these done is they're screwed in over here. Basically, you can have this little piece sit here in your bag like that so the bag isn't as deep, but this is actually much easier to do this option right here. So you can see the bag is fully sectioned off. So you could put keys, wallet, phone, whatever down here. And then the rest of your bag is for everything else. So those are all little just accessories for those. But of course I will also have the bag itself linked. So thank y'all so much for watching. Can you tell I'm a little bit excited for summer vacation? It has been three years. No, yes, three years, 2021. It was the last time I went. And I am so ready for vacation it is insane. I cannot wait. So thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget, click the subscribe button below. Love y'all so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.